Tyler, the creator, dropped Call Me If You Get Lost last week, and he's done it again with this one. After winning a Grammy with Igor, he had earned some pretty high expectations coming into this release, and I would think it's safe to say he surpassed those expectations. So with that being said, here's the five songs that I personally think are the best on the album. Me. Personally. You can personally leave your top five songs down in the comments below. Number five is Juggernaut. Juggernaut features Uzi and Pharrell alongside Tyler. I'm not a fan of Lil Uzi Vert, but he's actually the main reason I think this is one of the best songs on the album. The beat really favors his flow and overall style, and he was a great pick by Tyler to feature him on this specific track out of them all. What's Your Name at number four? The 90s R&B beat that this song opens up with gives you the impression that this song is going to move in one direction until Tyler starts rapping and he's able to use his old school beat to make a jam between himself and Ty Dolla Sign. Like Uzi, I also don't care for NBA Youngboy, but I gotta give it to him. He was a great fit for this song and did a great job on the second verse. In fact, his verse is my favorite part of the whole song. I've got Run It Up at number 3, Tizo was another good pick from Tyler and the two do a fantastic job on this song. I definitely prefer Tyler's part more than Tizo's, but Tizo was great nonetheless. The drum beat and the horns on this track, combined with the chorus, give me huge Kanye vibes. Run It Up just really seems like a song that would be on My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which is not a knock on Tyler because that's not a bad thing at all. It's a great thing, and to me it shows the influence that Ye has had on so many great artists. But the instruments on Run It Up truly make the song. At number two, I've got Manifesto. Right off the first few seconds of this track, you know that Tyler is going back to his older style on this one. Manifesto features Tyler the Creator touching on an array of different topics, but the common denominator is activism. He mentions protests in two different lights, apologizes to Selena Gomez for his past tweets towards her, people trying to cancel him and calling him out for not doing enough, quote unquote, and that's just scratching the surface. I strongly considered making this number one because of how well written it is. It's brutally honest and at the same time it's sharing a positive message. Manifesto is basically 2 minutes and 55 seconds of hearing how much Tyler the Creator has grown over the years. And at number one, sweet slash I thought you wanted to dance. Tyler the Creator makes another funky jam with this one. It's basically two songs combined to make one long track, coming in at just about 10 minutes. It definitely carries strong similarities to his last two albums, which is great to know that Tyler is keeping this sound around. The second half of this track has a strong old school reggae vibe and is an absolute jam. The song as a whole carries this uplifting tone and has quickly become a song that you can put on with all the windows down in the car while you cruise to wherever you're going right around sunset. Like I mentioned earlier, be sure to leave the five songs that you think are the best off this album down in the comments below. While you're heading down there, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And the first link in the description will take you to my Galactic Grizzly Spotify playlist, which features a lot of the music that I'm currently listening to. If you'd like any of my brand new Galactic Grizzly merch, it should be live right now. There's also a link to the store to buy some while it's still available only through the month of July, but the link is right down in the description below. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.